today we do this uh, test, the speed test, with different kinds of thumb rings. Be excited! Two different thumb rings create a different arrow speed. I have no idea, I don't think that there will be a big difference, but I thought, okay, I give it a try. I will shoot with a simple 26 pound bow in the beginning, 10 arrows with my bare thumb. I will always try to have exactly the same anchor point and the same release. Then I shoot 10 arrows with a leather thumb protector, then with a ring from Wormel Archery. I think it's the Lotus, I don't know anymore. Then we shoot the King Rui because it's a very big one. Maybe change something and we shoot the Manchu style ring. Let's get started! The plane. Leather thumb ring. A friend of mine, Michele de Lorente, in Italy, made it for me. It's a quite sturdy piece of leather. 36. Oh. Oh, 34.2. I know it's a bit boring, but in the name of science, we have to do that. Oh, 32.3. So, that was with the leather thumb protection, Wemmel Archery, the Lotus Classic. I forgot the name, but you can check on the website of Wemmel Archery. This is the nice one with this groove here and this small thingy. Back to shooting. Or having a readout machine. Oh, I think that was the wrong one. 44. 34.9. 34. Now it looks better. 34.4. That was the Wormel ring. Come to the heaviest thumb ring in the world, at least for me, the King Rui ring from China. Really heavy duty, but very comfortable.
Last one on the list, Manchurian style, cylindrical thumb ring. This is one of our made in Malta olive wood. 36.3. Thirty-seven point three. See, thirty-seven point nine. Thirty-four point seven. Finalmente. So I took now the all single measurements from my crony. I deleted the lowest always and the highest of each round. So these these breakouts that we don't have them in the calculation. And then I made an average and I came up with my simple thumb. I give this bow and this arrow combination a speed of 37.17 meters per second. There you see it in foot per second. The leather, the leather thumb ring was slower. I didn't expect that. It's only 34.77 meters per second. The Wormel thumb ring a little faster than the leather but not as fast as my plain skin it's 35.21 I think I don't put them on my thumb is swollen now so and then the King Rui big and heavy a tick a tiny tick slower but I think it's the same as the Wormer ring 35.13 meters per second as I say, last but not least, the wonderful Manchurian ring, 40.87, so way faster than everything else, but I think it's simply because you don't curl the thumb so much to let it open, you simply hold the thumb straight, the string rests here. I think this is the reason, because you hold the thumb in a different position and the string comes out and snaps forward easily. You don't have this big bending section. And that's why with this ring it made 40.87. So we see the fastest one in this test, the Manchu ring, 40.87 meters per second. Then I have my skin, 37.17. Then we have the Wormel ring, 35.21. Then we have the Rui 35.13 and then we have leather 34.77 so and you see I gave you the foot per second so now you know this is simply now a, a few different ones of course there are a ton of other thumb rings and they might be different they're all close together plus minus they're all the same the only one which is significantly faster is the Manchurian ring that was quite interesting for me too so thank you very much for this question bye bye